Hello and welcome to Flux Drive's demonstration videos. Today we're going to demonstrate the energy savings potential of Flux Drive's adjustable speed drive compared to a discharge throttling valve on a centrifugal water pump. Our demonstration system consists of a closed coupled pump and motor connected to a 300 gallon water tank. Water is pumped out of the bottom of the tank and through the riser to the top of the tank. A calibrated flow meter is positioned in the riser to provide an accurate flow reading and a power meter is connected to the motor starter to provide energy consumption data. The system has been retrofitted with Flux Drive's closed coupled adjustable speed drive, which sits between the motor and the pump. In this case, the adjustable speed drive is controlled by a manual actuator, but an automatic actuator is normally fitted to the system for full automated speed control. The Flux Drive ASD controls speed by varying the amount of overlap between the drive's internal induction rotor and permanent magnets that are located inside the surrounding cylinder. When the induction rotor is fully engaged in the magnet cylinder, the pump operates at more than 98% of motor speed, effectively at its full flow rate. Either a manual or electronic actuator can be used to then pull the rotor out of the magnet cylinder, allowing the pump to run at a slower speed than the motor. As the flux drive is engaged, listen to hear the pump speed up. To show power consumption, we'll start with the system running at full speed. As you can see from the power and flow meters, with the valve wide open, the flow is 226 gallons per minute and the motor is consuming approximately 2.25 kilowatts. In addition, because this pump is oversized for the load, you can hear and see cavitation, which can cause long-term damage to the pump. If we partially shut the valve, we obviously reduce the flow rate, which can save some energy. However, we're also artificially increasing the system head, which wastes energy. So as you can see from the flow and power meters, reducing flow by 35%, down to about 147 gallons per minute, only drops power consumption by about 0.3 kilowatts, or around 14%. In comparison, let's open the valve back up and use the flux drive to create the exact same flow rate. In this case, we're reducing the speed of the pump to achieve the lower flow. Listen as the flux drive slows the pump down to reduce the flow rate. Due to the laws of affinity on centrifugal loads like this pump, the motor only consumes 1.20 kilowatts in this case. Again, this is exactly the same reduced flow rate as with the valve, but instead of a 14% energy savings, the flux drive provides a 47% energy savings compared to full flow. Also, as we reduce the speed of the pump, you may have noticed that the cavitation completely disappeared. In addition to providing energy savings, all flux drive products also provide maintenance benefits, whether it's from tuning cavitation out of the system through speed control or from providing misalignment and vibration reduction. As this video demonstrates, throttling valves and dampers are an inefficient means of controlling flow when compared to the flux drive. So to save energy and money, contact flux drive today to learn more about our award-winning smart couplings and adjustable speed drives.